Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're looking at another new tool. Um, obviously, it's a glue gun. Um, now, I have lots of glues um, that I use regularly. So super glue, wood glue, um, cheap white glue, prit stick, depending on what I'm doing. And um, obviously, as you know from other videos, my eldest son has been doing um, some of the modelling with me and he likes doing crafting in general. Um, he's doing more uh, on his own now because sometimes some of his homework involves uh, crafting style projects um, and he can obviously use things like the wood glue uh, and stuff kind of pretty much unsupervised I don't like letting him use the super glue unsupervised mostly because the kind of you know the damage it can do to your skin and things if you um, get it everywhere or the damage it will do to the table or whatever else he's using it if he makes a complete mess um, but also not all of those glues are always suitable for um, every different material obviously super glue sticks most things but um, certainly things like the wood glue and, and stuff doesn't necessarily stick everything and takes forever to dry and numerous other things so um, I decided that I would invest in a glue gun now this isn't something I've, I've not had I've never owned a glue gun um, and I've not used one since I was in high school uh, which is more decades ago than I would like to uh, admit to. So um, I did a bit of hunting around and I asked for suggestions on a couple of the modelling forums and um, this was uh, one that was a, a suggestion from one of those forums and that kind of seemed to tick all the, all the boxes. So for a start I didn't know how useful it would be for either my modelling or, or my son uh, doing crafting. So it's reasonably cheap. Um, <clears throat> it's also what's described as a cool melt glue gun. Um, so I don't know when these first appeared, but I, all the glue guns I remember at high school um, got hot quickly um, and the glue was hot. Um, that's not the case with this. So it takes about five minutes to warm up. So it's actually already plugged in and warm at the moment. Um, but the glue isn't particularly hot. So now if I put glue onto the mat and then a hot glue from a normal hot glue gun and then touched it I would probably burn myself uh, but let me just show you that that's not the case with this one so pull the trigger and I get a nice blob of glue on the mat hopefully you can see that and it's 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 warm um, and it's sticking to my finger but it's in no way hot it's not going to burn me um, so that was another um, another kind of plus point um, I mean you can see it's sticky I'm now having problems getting it off my modeling mat um, it was another plus point for me um, in that hopefully I can let my son use it without too much supervision. I mean, I'm going to I'm going to keep an eye on him, but I'm less worried about him hurting himself when he's trying to hold two pieces together or whatever and, and, and apply some glue. Um, obviously, I'm not going to touch it, so I don't quite know how hot the nozzle is at the end. I'm assuming it's hotter than the glue that comes out. Um, but from a safety point of view, uh, I'm quite happy happy with this. Um, so. As I say, it's the Cool Melt glue gun. It's it's sold under the uh, by Hobbycraft under their own uh, own brand. Um, it takes these uh, seven millimeter glue sticks. I've got one in here. I've actually got um, two in here. Well, this is the second one. I don't know how much of the first one's used. It pushes obviously through. Um, and again, the, the the glue gun when I bought it, I think was eight pounds, and and I bought lots and lots of. Um, glue sticks and I still didn't get over the I think it's £25 mark for the free shipping so in the end I did a, a new scalpel blade handle um, that I wanted as well to get myself over the free shipping mark um, so the whole setup is is nice and cheap um, so again I'm not worried about letting my son you know if he breaks it he breaks it it's not the end of the world and hopefully he's not gonna hurt himself with it but just to show that it does kind of um, even though it's not a, a hot glue gun it does work quite nicely so um, yeah we, we can we can put glue on things and we can stick them together and it works it works you know it works well they you know it's the stuff sticking to each other um, so far he's used it he's the only one that's used it in anger so far he's started to as a model he's building as part of um, part of his, his class his, his half term homework um, so yeah he's been he's been using it now um as a quick as a quick review i mean it works you pull the trigger you get glue um you're not going to burn yourself and the glue the glue works plus it's cheap so so far all plus points um i don't have anything particularly bad to say about it um 
I mean, obviously, you know, for what it is, there's not much in the way of, of, of description to give. Um, it works. It works reasonably well. There are a couple of oddities about it. Well, not, not necessarily oddities, um, but things that certainly my son found a little odd when he was using it. So one of the things, and I think this is, if I remember rightly, is common to most glue guns. When you pull the trigger, you get a bit of glue out the end of the nozzle. But it eventually, to a certain extent, stops. Um, and if you want lots of glue, then you kind of have to um, kind of pull the trigger, let go, pull the trigger, and kind of pump the trigger. Um, and it was taking him a while to get used to that. Not, I mean, as I say, that's not necessarily a flaw with the, with the gun, but it's not necessarily intuitive either. But as I say, I think that's kind of common to most uh, most glue guns. So. Um, I, I'm not. I'm not claiming that's a that's a problem. The one thing that is slightly weird um, is the way that the trigger mechanism is set so far back from um, the gun itself. Now, on a lot of the ones I've seen, you can't. I can't really see. And pictures of other ones, I can't quite see where the trigger mechanism works. But on this one, as you pull it, basically this trigger and this back part of um, of here, this white piece at the back, are the same piece of plastic, and they just kind of, I think it's just hinged round. Um, well, not necessarily hinged round, but they're, they're 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 pulling together. So you push on the trigger, and it pushes that in. And this bit's quite tight round the round the tube of glue, round the glue stick, so it pushes it forward and into the into the barrel. The thing about that is that it's a long way back from the front of the gun. Um, so that means that. It doesn't actually take much for um, you, you don't have to have had a stick in for very long to suddenly find that you can't get any more glue out because this piece um, is no longer able to push on this very well I mean we're almost there already it, it, you can still push on it as you can see I'm still getting glue coming out of the nozzle um, it's going everywhere at the moment as I can show you what's happening but um, you can see now that this this glue stick is way, way, way away from the nozzle. Um, I mean, if you look at the length of one of these glue sticks, pretty much that is the length of the glue stick. So by the time you've inserted a full glue stick, um, the, the trigger mechanism is no longer able to particularly push on the glue stick. So to, in fact, that's, yeah, we've got to the point now where it's not, it's not engaging at all. Um, so we've put a glue stick in um, and I now can't push it any further. Um, so I think that's a bit of a a bit of a flaw in the fact that the length of the glue sticks they sell for it. Um, I mean, if you, it, fortunately it came with two, and I bought a I bought a box. Well, I bought two boxes of fifty, I think. So I've got hundred more glue sticks. But if you just bought the two, if you just had the two that came with it, you'd have to put them both in to start with, um, which seems seems a little a little odd. So the design of this, I don't know whether that's a they should make the glue sticks longer or the fact that this trigger mechanism should try and be kind of done differently so it's pushing um on the glue stick a lot further forward um, and you can imagine if if you can imagine if you pulled the trigger here but it was moving instead of moving the action back here it was moving an action piece here somewhere then it would be pushing a lot further um into the gun so you wouldn't have to have quite so much um of glue stick at the back as i say now it's all you know it's pretty much the whole length of the glue stick there you can see that again like that um, and it's not it's not engaging so it's got a full glue a full unused glue stick in there essentially um, that you can't you can't push through without putting another glue stick in the back um, not a problem once you know about it it doesn't stop it working it's just kind of a a bit of an odd um, a bit of an odd design feature flaw um, but all in all for cost ease of use uh, the glue um, it works really, really well. As I say, I think you get a bit of stringiness sometimes with the glue gun, and I'm guessing that's because it's not as hot. Um, but you know, for, we're not we're not talking about making um, really kind of accurate, neat joints necessarily with the glue gun. We're talking about things like gluing two big pieces of foam board together, or, or to to help make kind of some kind of internal building structure or, or something. Um, I mean, my son's been using it for gluing kind of. Uh, bits of plastic bottles together and tin cans and things um, in the no cases you know big splodge of glue between the two parts push them together most of the glue's in the join it's not um, it's not visible anyway 
Um, so and again, that's not a, a complaint about this glue gun particularly. Um, it's a, just a general use of glue guns. Um, but yeah, so the, 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 the stringiness is the only obvious weird thing. And as I said, I don't know if that would happen with a normal, with a hotter glue gun. But I really like this for, for cost and ease of use and reasonable safety uh, for letting my, my son use it. So um, I'd happily happily recommend this to others. I'll put a link in the description. As I say, it's Hobbycraft's um, Blue Cool Melt um, glue gun. I think they also do one in pink, potentially. Um, yeah, you can see where the colour choices come from. Um, <clears throat> but um, I don't think the pink one was in stock, and I went for the blue one, which, yeah, that's what it is. Uh, yeah, it's good. So now we have a we have a we have a glue gun in the house. As I say, it's the first one I've um, I've actually owned, and I haven't used one since high school. So we'll have to see how well it whether it turns up in the modelling uh, more often um, or not. I can imagine if I was doing kind of lightweight foam based boards, then this would be uh, great for tacking those together, or just putting big chunks of um, as I say cardboard or foam board or something together for the inside of building of making a building or, or something something like that. Then um, again, this would this would work really well. Uh, so yeah, I'm happy to happy to recommend this. Thanks for watching.